Hi y'all, welcome to my shop. Uh, inspired by Brendan Stemp's uh, A Minute of BS, I thought I would have a, uh, my name's Mike Peace by the way, I thought I would, ha I would have a moment of peace. And I want to start a dialogue on what you wear in your shop, so uh, I'll, go, I'll go first. Uh, I saw on the internet somebody had this uh, ACU jacket, uh, Army Combat Unit, and they thought it would make a nice uh, turning smock, and I got one off the internet. It's real cheap. I think I paid $13.50 off eBay, including shipping. It's got some nice features. It's got uh, Velcro uh, clasps here, so you can put it over your elbow without having to cut it. It's got a nice high Mandarin Velcro collar. It's got nifty uh, Velcro pockets on each sleeve, which makes it very uh, easy if you're right-handed to put something on your left-hand sleeve in the pocket, like a, uh, a little short, short ruler. Or if you're left-handed, you could put, you know, put something in your right-hand pocket uh, to write, write with, for example. It, it is zippered. It's got pockets. Uh, it looks like it'll repel uh, things very well. So I think this is a, a, a nice possibility, and it's got a nice panache here in that I could probably take one of my old uh, military monogrammed uh, name tags, put some Velcro on it, slap it on here so I have a monogrammed name. Uh, you know, I did use this BDU shirt, and it works fairly well because it'll button up to the top. Uh, other options that I that I had, and uh, I demonstrate a lot, so I like to have something a little little more spiffy looking. I got my name monogram. These are the AAW uh, smocks, which I like a lot. They're lightweight. They're very comfortable. The neck is actually a little more comfortable than this. Uh, they got pockets. What I don't like is the pockets tend to catch stuff. Even there on the side, they tend to catch shavings. And this pocket doesn't fasten down, and it tends to catch some shavings. But other than that, they're they're both designed the same, two different colors, and they're lightweight and and, and comfortable and, and short sleeve. This is nice in the wintertime. I know a lot of, of y'all don't like long sleeves, but if you're careful or you're doing some things in a cold shop, uh, you know, long sleeves can be kind of nice. Let's talk about what I wear on my head. I wear a bandana. I had to get on YouTube to learn how to tie a, uh, tie a do-rag. That's what they call these down south maybe in other places, uh, and that keeps shavings, shavings out of my uh, hair. Another option, which is a little more ninja looking, I picked up off uh, Amazon, I think. It's, it's a neck warmer or something, and it's probably a little, little ni more ninja looking with this, uh, these BDUs, is, is this, this thing here, and you can tuck it in the back. So that's something like that's a possibility to keep uh, shavings out of your out of your hair, and it will fit easily. This or the bandana will fit easily under a uh, face shield, so that's nice. Let's talk about shoes. Actually, I wear Skechers. You might call them sneakers. Uh, I've been wearing these for years. They're inexpensive. They're they've got real thick soles, so they're heavy, they're great uh, working on concrete. Uh, they're cheap, and that you buy one pair and the other pair is half price, and and. Uh, they used to give you two pair of shoelaces, they don't do that anymore, but uh, these are very nice. What I don't like about them, and I think maybe you can see here, they do tend to snag shavings, so uh, when I, I have to make a conscious effort to uh, scrub these pretty good before I go upstairs, uh, or my significant other will get on my, get on my case. Uh, for summertime though, which I, I have a tendency to wear shorts all the time, and, and this loads up with shavings, so I got my wife to sew me these these gaiters with velcro it's like a baby bib i understand you can actually take a if you got baby bibs you can put a little velcro on them they're kind of goofy looking but they will keep the shavings from going down your your shoes so now it's your turn leave a comment about what you like to wear when turning and why you like it feel free to respond to any of the comments from me or anyone else by the way i promised to show you pictures of work sent in by subscribers Here's one from Greg Hathaway after watching my video on miniature birdhouse on a stand. And here are some hollow frosty snowman ornaments sent in by Jim Robb of Scotland. Jim's hollow snowman uh, pictures inspired me to do my hollow snowman video. Thanks, Jim.